Fresh A, I go to Kent Island High School and I earned the seal of biliteracy. I started Spanish in middle school in Spanish one and then I got to high school and I was given the opportunity to take more Spanish classes and I really found it interesting to learn the language and learn the culture. But then when you get to the higher levels of Spanish, like three, four, and AP Spanish, you get to really learn a little bit more of the nuances and of the culture. And when you finally get to a point where you can converse and talk and feel like you're actually speaking the language and learning the culture, it's a lot more enjoyable. So then I kind of found the love for the language, especially in Ms. Hegelke's classes, because it was just so amazing to actually be able to use the basics and then everything that had been added onto that to actually learn about the culture and successfully communicate. So then I made it through AP Spanish and I got the seal of biliteracy in Spanish 4 though. So that's, that, that was when I got that. <laughs> Very cool. So what was it like with her crew? Oh, I'll tell you about that. Okay. <laughs> so I had Kate in spring of 2020 in Spanish 3. So we had a um, shortened version of the semester. It's all a blur. I honestly don't even remember <laughs> what happened after March 13th. But um, then the following year, I was lucky enough to have Kate again in Spanish 4 virtually. Hi. And we had interaction. Um, they were very um, patient with me as I tried all sorts of new things. They worked with me on some extra projects I was doing as well. I don't know if you remember, but you and a few others showed up for me like an, in an afternoon when I had to record for my national boards. <laughs> oh, you were doing that during the pandemic? Oh, boards, perfect. <laughs> and, and these guys were great. And then in the spring, I also had Kate in AP Spanish. and. Of course, we were lucky enough to be able to come back in. So I commend Kate for her dedication uh, during that time frame. And again, you know, like she said, earning the seal in Spanish four while we were not even coming to the actual school building was incredible. Absolutely. Well, we practiced a lot before the Apple test. So I knew what to expect when the time came to actually take the Apple test. and. It sounds intimidating when you say, oh, you're gonna go in and you're gonna take this test and you're gonna be judged, And but that's not really what it is. It's just like being prompted to show what you've learned throughout the years that you've worked for Spanish. And it really just feels like another class when you're writing the answers to what your teacher gives you. So it wasn't, for me, intimidating or overwhelming in any way. It was just another test that I'd studied for. Well, I tell you what, the cool thing is it shows up on your high school graduation transcripts and it lets every employer know that you're biliterate. It's not just that you passed an AP test, but you're actually biliterate. So it's a big deal for future employers. What are some of your other talents? I've seen you in up here on the, the concert stage as well. Do you want to share a little bit of your creative journey as well? <laughs> sure. <laughs> So I joined marching band in freshman year and I've been in band since middle school. And then I've joined every band other than that, which is kind of my biggest arty thing. I love that part. I played the flute and the piccolo. This past marching season, I was one of the drum majors, which means that I stand up on the podium and conduct the band and I lead the band. And then I joined the pit orchestra, which it plays the music for the musicals which is so much better to have live music than the oh, pre-recording yeah. yeah. that they have to do if there's no live music. So that is what I've done in the, in the band arts department. So talented with languages, talented musically. Sciences as well. Sciences, yes. I took AP Chemistry junior year. I loved AP Chemistry. I think I want to major in Chemistry at the Naval Academy. Where she I'm was going to school. That's exciting. She was also yeah. our um, science senior award winner at Senior Awards Night, which is when the science department picks one senior to recognize, and for them it was Kate. So you're going to be decked out in all kinds of bling at graduation <laughs> with all of your medals and all of your things. All the graduation lore. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Next year, I am going to the Naval Academy 
my grandfather was in the Navy. He was a captain. And so he inspired me to join the Navy and then I got accepted and I was so, so, so excited. And I still am. And so over the summer, I will go start my six week plebe summer. Congratulations. <laughs> and then I will go there and I will join the Drum and Bugle Corps, uh, which is their marching band. And I will probably major in chemistry. So. Congratulations. It seems like the journey's coming full circle with all these areas that you're multi-talented in. So congratulations. What does it mean to your family? You earning the seal and accomplishing all these things. Have they shared any of that with you? They have. My family has been so proud of the accomplishments that I've been able to achieve, but they've also been so helpful and supportive throughout all of my academic endeavors <laughs> because you need you need a good support system to be able to be successful in rigorous classes and studies and applications so they are immensely proud of everything that i've been able to do but they also didn't expect anything less because they've been so helpful and supportive throughout the whole thing